Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a one pot creamy Tuscan chicken. Um, so you see I have here about a little over a pound of chicken thighs, skinless, boneless, and cut into like maybe one inch quarters. I'm going to throw in a, probably about two tablespoons of Italian herb seasoning, um, about two tablespoons of salt, about a pinch of pepper, and I'm going to, well I already have a little oil, olive oil drizzled into the pot, but I'm going to give this a quick toss around and get this cooking. So after I do this quick little toss around, I'm going to cover it with my lid so it can cook faster. So here's my chicken after cooking it covered um, for about five minutes or so. As you can see, it is just about done. Um, so I can go ahead and add in everything else. So I'm going to pour in a container, 32 ounces of chicken broth. I'm also going to dump in my noodles. Um, now for my dinner that I'm making, I'm making it large enough for my family of um, six this eating, it's seven of us total, um, but this is the recipe for just a single um, family of, or a family that's smaller than mine, but like I said, I'm going to get everything tossed in, the 32 ounces of chicken broth, the pasta, the sun-dried tomatoes that I used probably like a cup of. So, of course, you have that, um, but that's everything that I throw in there, and I cover it and let those noodles So, here is my pasta. Just a quick little peek. It's been cooking now probably about four or five minutes or so. So I'm going to add in about a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. These were julienne cut that were roughly chopped. I'm just adding those back in and giving that a stir. And then I'm going to add in um, probably a bag of frozen spinach that I had. Um, it's a gallon-sized bag. It was fresh spinach that was cleaned and frozen previously that I just dumped in. And I'm going to give that all a stir as well. So after giving everything a quick toss, this is what it looks like before I add the cheese um, into my pasta. So at this point, I'm going to add in a block of cream cheese. Um, I just cut it into chunks and dropped it in and mixed it in until all this cream cheese melted. And So I got the cream cheese all mixed in, and now I'm going to sprinkle in the Parmesan cheese. Now, I did use this whole container um, just because of the quantity that I was making, um, but you only need about half of that container, um, or roughly a half a cup to a cup, and just mix that in until all of that cheese is melted, and I'll make a nice sauce. But here is my creamy Tuscan chicken pasta. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you enjoy this recipe. But that's all that I have. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Bye.